Today I'm shooting here at beautiful Arabian Ranta. And what's special with today's video is that I'm shooting with a Polaroid camera. The Polaroid camera will challenge your street photography since you can't know if what you're shooting is good or not. I have eight shots that I will take today. And uh, when we have done that, we'll check the shots together and see how, how they turned out. Were they good? Were they not good? I don't know. The idea is to, of course, find some people, but also find good shadows. Because I have this one, uh, one alley I want to walk along. And uh, on that alley, I think there will be cool lighting because of the where the sun is right now. So it's April, it's Finland. Of course it's snow, but hopefully spring will make this snow go away fast. Nice to have you here, nice to see you. So this is the film we're using today, but in color. So wrong case, same film. And this is my beautiful camera. So first, let's take out the, the shield. No, you don't need that. I'll save it. And um, my settings of the day is uh, probably since it's so sunny, I'll go with the minus setting. I think it will be good. I use the flash, which is there. And here I can choose between two lenses, uh, landscape and person. And I think I'll go with this, or sometime I might change, but this is the main thing. Uh, so this is my Polaroid camera, a quite new one since it has Bluetooth as well. Uh, but this is what we're working with. Let's see how Arabian Ranta will treat us today. Eight pictures. Let's go. It's a beautiful spring day in Helsinki. And there are some cool shadows here. I thought of asking actually that guy oh, to take his photo, but I'll take a picture of him, but I did not dare. Maybe I'll dare the next time. Oh, there's a cat up there. I don't know if you can see it. What a beautiful cat. So along this alley I will walk. I think it's called Lonton Kuya or something like that. There certainly is a very nice contrasts here. This area is quite new or new or new. Under 20 years of age probably. Most of the houses are quite new. There is the University of Applied Sciences, Arcada, here, where you can study in English and Swedish. And uh, yeah, so that's why there are so many students living here. Uh, there are also other schools around. And all of, of course, a lot of working people here as well. A lot of families, kids, stuff like that. Brysselin Kuya. I think it has different names. So this is Brussels Alley. Not Brussels Sprout. Oh, there's people having coffee on the terrace. That's so nice. 
Can this be a cool shot? No. I don't know, I don't know. Let me try something else. Here are some cool shadows as well. Someone would happen to walk into this. Into this here. Ah. Uh, but there are not a lot of people around. And then that of course. People passing in the light. Would also be quite cool. Oh this house is so cool. This is very beautiful. Could this be something? Okay, we got the first shot. Let's put it somewhere dark. Hide it in my pocket. Hopefully it's dark enough. So people think that you should shake the Polaroid picture. But you don't have to do that anymore because uh, because the uh, film is different nowadays than it was back in the day. So you don't have to shake it anymore. You don't have to shake it like a Polaroid picture. I don't think I have been here with a camera before, so it's interesting in that way as well. One picture taken, seven to go. I find it difficult to take pictures of people when, when there's not many people because they instantly notice that I take pictures of them and now that I'm using flash it's even more difficult to me. Hopefully we find something, this is cool. There is water dripping down here. Could I make something out of this? Maybe we could try. Done. Okay, second shot taken. When I work these films, if it's not dark enough, uh, they will turn out too bright uh, so as film does and uh, you don't want that <laughs> tips and tricks on shooting with Polaroid um, you look in here but when you look in here it's a bit too high so it will not you can't frame exactly how you want uh, it's a it's a it's always a bit like the what the camera sees uh, is just a bit uh, lower I think and that of course affects affects the whole thing another tip uh, if you keep the camera in the cold or the film in the cold, it will turn more bluish. If it's in the warm, it will it will turn more um, it will turn more more reddish. So uh, so take that in consideration as well. That that it will affect the film where how how warm you keep the the thing. I think this could work as a picture. Maybe like this. Something like this, I think. You do what you do, you do what you do. Let me go into this alley and see what we find. So what are your experiences with shooting with Polaroid camera street or else? 
please let me know that in the comments below do you like shooting with polaroid do you hate it do you have learned have you learned anything from it personally i have learned a lot because as i have said in the videos before when you limit yourself you learn new things wow this is beautiful you see the ocean wow more more shots could this be something maybe i should try what do you think well i pushed the button huh, would have wanted to would have wanted to take a picture of that one man would have been cool but i didn't because i didn't dare to ask he had nice face tattoos and everything would have been interesting so it was like a really hot day in helsinki for was it like two three days ago it was almost like 15 degrees celsius the next day it dropped down to minus and it started slowing, snowing and everything was totally like it was white everywhere and now today it's like minus maybe four maybe minus oh. the sun is actually warming heating up everything but it was like minus four in the beginning of the day and uh, so we're going back to spring so we, we live at that time in Helsinki right now that when you wake up it's winter during the day it's probably raining or snowing or something and in the afternoon it's sun and it's like spring and almost feels like summer so we get all the seasons in one day which is something you can't get everywhere else and like it, it's it's a rare commodity <laughs> to have four seasons in a day there's a shopping mall nearby I'm thinking of grabbing a coffee maybe you should recharge my phone stuff like that let's go here there's some more shadow here but maybe when there but when the buildings are more closed there are more possibilities oh my god that's a good shadow it's shining on that piece of snow that is definitely a picture I want to take with the bike in the foreground. Is that possible? Is that even possible? It is. Let's do it. Again, I thought of asking the postman with the bike if I should have uh, taken if i could take his picture but i think i didn't want it actually because i thought the, they were wow they were not that great like it was really like full of shadows so mm, so it was not an option but this place two more two more wow this place is awesome look at this place that house over there and then that house i have two more shots so if i find something there and then after that i find or find i'll go here first try to figure out a good angle i like the shadow on the wall and then the house and uh arabia how could i frame something here This looks so neat.
His old house. Mm -hmm. Something in the foreground. Maybe like that. Maybe it has this feel of old and new. Maybe this works. Let's make it. Let's take it. Creating shots. Oh. One more shot and 80s. Eight shots are taken. Done and ready to be analyzed by me. Maybe you will see some missed opportunities. Something you would have shot. Oh my god, this is so cool. This place is so nice. Look at that car with the. There's like a triangle with that car over there. Oh my god, it's so cool. Could I. Should, what do I want? I have one last shot. This is the best thing. I, I have one shot. What should I shoot? Could this be, could this work? Mm -hmm. I think it's good. I'll think I, I'll take the shot. It's done. Last shot taken. That was is it on those. Turning things off. Hopefully it was good. Hopefully you had a blast. Now I'll take you to check check the photos that we took. Maybe you have a favorite one. All right, I'm back. The first image I took um, was a bit of a fail. I, my idea was to take a picture of uh, children in front of this beautiful building, but uh, thought, of, thought the children were more in the light than they were, so you can't see them in the picture. Bummer. The next one uh, was the drain pipe. Uh, I like this picture because, uh, well, I like the lines in it. It's, um, you, you have, when you look at it, you have to think a bit about what is this. And so it's a bit of an abstract picture of something very daily. So the third one, it had potentials, but I think it turned out too dark. Otherwise I would have loved it. Still like the negative and the negative space, but I don't know. This is what you don't actually know. When, when, you, when you shoot Polaroid, you don't know what comes out, as I said in the video, or earlier in the video. Um, so you kind of have to just trust it and hope for the best. The fourth one is actually one of my, or it's my favorite. It's a woman smoking a cigarette on the yard, and this actually conveys some sort of a story. I think, for me, street photography, to be interesting, when I shoot it, it, it doesn't, it's not the same thing if I look at other people's shots, but when I shoot street and if there's no people, I have a difficulty enjoying the, the, the work. Wonder why it's different with other people, since when I see your guys shoot sh shots and, and there are no people, I can enjoy them very much. But for me, I need people. I'm skipping one, but must say I love this scene with the snow and the bike in the foreground. Instantly when I saw the, the place, I was like, hey, this is something good. So I, sh I took this shot. I'm actually happy I used, used the flash since otherwise you wouldn't have seen the bike in the foreground. It's a bit dark, but yeah, I really like it. Probably the second best of the eight. Then the second last I shot was this one of the old building and um, a bit newer building in, in this um, in this indust industrial industrial environment. Um, I like the shadows how they fall and and the, like negative space and the building behind. So this was a success. And the last one, well, I, did, I don't I don't think it turned out very well. So I don't have anything to say about that.
So which one of these was your favorite? Please leave that in the comments below. My name is Oskar Lehtineri. Don't give up your daydream.